Hello, everyone. Good evening, and welcome to Senior Planet. Uh, I see a lot of new faces, some familiar faces. Thank you for making it out tonight to today's very special event with live performances. Um, I don't know if all of you know about OATS and Senior Planet, but OATS is Older Adults Technology Services, um, and Senior Planet is our flagship program. Um, we have one here in New York City that you're all in right now, and we have another one up in Plattsburgh, New York, um, soon to be Denver, Colorado as well. Um, what we do is we teach technology to older adults. We harness the power of technology to change the way we age. So we do have classes that operate out of this center, as well as the other five boroughs of New York City and other geographies as well like Denver, Colorado, San Antonio, Texas, and now Palo Alto, California. Our classes go for 10 weeks long, um, but we also have things other outside of our classes. Uh, we have one-time lectures and workshops where we teach technology to older adults in five different content areas. We teach through creative expression, uh, lifelong learning, um, health and wellness, social engagement, civic engagement, and financial security. Um, and we also have special events like this, so I hope you ch um, tune in and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see a lot more events that we have like this. Um, I can go on talking about Oats and Senior Planet the entire night, but I won't. I want to introduce a very special guest, longtime member, Calvin Alexander Ramsey. It's also his birthday today, so if you can give him a round of applause and say happy birthday. Um, Calvin. Hey, dear Calvin. Happy birthday, Calvin. Calvin is not only a beloved Senior Planet member, he's a renowned playwright and author. Um, so I'm going to give the mic up to Calvin Ramsey. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. Uh, you know, we lucked out on the weather. You know, they predicted rain earlier, but you know, we don't have that. Uh, we've got a wonderful cast. We have Deron Eames. Uh, he has toured the whole world performing uh, on the QE2 and in Japan and Europe and uh, just a wonderful singer. And, uh, and you'll see tonight that he is s so something special. He also has done a uh, one-man show where he uh, played Billy Eckstein. But tonight he's, but tonight he's um, Bobby Short. Uh, and Terry Barris has toured the world and Terry opens for Diana Ross worldwide currently. And tonight he's Oscar Peterson. <laughs> so without further ado, welcome to the Cafe Carlisle. What a joy that you're here today and welcome to the Cafe Carlisle. We're going to take you back to a time when Bobby Short was sitting at the piano, elegantly attired. And in the audience, you may see Dorothy Kilgallen. You may see Grace Kelly, Jackie Kennedy, everyone was there. And it was marvelous times. They dressed and they sat at tables. And they had conversations as you heard this kind of music play. And it was marvelous times. Do you remember those times? Okay. We're going to take you back there. Dearly beloved, how clearly I see somewhere in heaven you were a passion for me. Angel eyes knew you. Angel voices led me to you. I need more piano. Nothing could save me. They gave me a sign. I know that I'll be yours. Come shower or shine. So I say, merely, dearly beloved, be mine. Dearly beloved. How clearly 
I see Somewhere in heaven you were fashioned for me Angel eyes knew you Angel voices led me to you Nothing could save me, fate gave me a sign I know that I'll be yours, come shower or shine Somewhere in heaven you were fashioned for me Angel eyes knew you Angel voices led me to you Nothing could save me, fate gave me a sign I know that I'll be yours Come shower or shine Dearly beloved, dearly beloved, be mine. Thank you. This is so much fun. You see, I, I first saw Bobby. I moved to New York in 1972. I was 19. I moved here from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. And uh, coming from a small town to come to New York City, and I was, I was blessed to live actually where I live now, on East 85th Street, off 3rd Avenue, all these years. So I'm grateful for that. But I was in, able to go and walk by the Carlisle and watch the people go in. And it was just, I was so excited to see the swells going to the Carlisle, everyone was happy and pretty and dressed and, and uh, it was, I loved it and I still do and that's why I do what I do today and I'm so grateful that Calvin asked me to come in, sing a song that Bobby Short sang of Mercer, the great Danny Mercer in Ellington, Flaz, one of the greatest composers of the 20th century to Ellington and we're going to, we're going to get to his stuff also today. So what's next? Day in, day out That same old hoodoo follows me about The same old pounding in my heart Whenever I think of you And darling, I think of you Day in and day out Day out, day in. I needn't tell you how my day begins. When I wake, I awaken with a tingle. One possibility in view. That possibility of maybe seeing you. Come rain, come shine. Can you see that it's love? Can there be any doubt? Ha. 
day out That same old hoodoo follows me about The same old pounding in my heart Whenever I think of you And darling, I think of you Day in and day out Day out Day in I didn't tell you how my day began When I wake, I awaken with a tingle One possibility in view That possibility of maybe seeing you Come rain, come shine I meet you and to me the day is fine Some of you may remember a place years ago called, um, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, age. It's called, it was Ted Hooks. If you know Ted Hooks, he had a club many years ago where all the swells hung out and Bobby was one and Liza Minnelli, Margaret Whiting. Um, speaking of Margaret Whiting, I, I got to meet her and know her. I've written a book. I've written a most magnificent jazz history book. It's called Historical Jazz Conversations. And I've interviewed many of the world's legends, Nancy Wilson, Oscar Peterson, Joe Williams, Billy Taylor, and just on and on and on. Dakota State, Lil' Jimmy Scott, Randy West, Dick Hyman, Anita O'Day. And so uh, I got to meet these people. And it was so, when I got to, to talk with Margaret Whitey, who was very close with Johnny Mercer because Margaret Whiting's father, Richard Whiting, was just a magnificent songwriter. Just magnificent. So he and Mercer wrote songs together. And Margaret Whiting was a little girl at the time. And he wrote songs for her. He sang, she sang with Mabel Mercer. I mean, Mabel, Mabel, uh, Danny Mercer. Probably Mabel Mercer, too, who I met in London many years ago. But um, so... <laughs> It all ties together because it was Jandy Mercer who founded Capitol Records. And Margaret Whiting tells the story in my book. It's a wonderful story how he brought in uh, Wallach and uh, De Silva and they found Capitol Records together. And um, this next song we're going to do, I'm going to do this because <laughs> one of the greatest singers, in my humble opinion, was Nat King Cole. And last week he turned 100. And so I mentioned Capitol Records being founded by Johnny Mercer. And Nat Cole uh, was the, 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 it was Cole, the home that King Cole built. So I'm, I'm trying to tie it all together. There's a lot of history here. But uh, so Nat Cole was one of the biggest sellers at, at Capitol Records. And we're going to do this song. Uh, and to say hello to Nat King Cole, who is 100. That's sweet. The autumn leaves drift by my window. The autumn leaves are red and gold. I see your lips, the summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to know. Since you went away, the 
the days grow long and soon I'll hear a winter song but I miss you most of all my darling when autumn leaves start to fall the falling leaves drift by Autumn leaves are ready to go. I see your leaves, the summer kisses, the sunburned hands I used to hold. Since you went away, the days grow long. My darling, when all leaves start to fall. enough because I have a local television show and I've interviewed a lot of jazz legends who all came through the Carlisle. Uh, Ruth Duke Ellington's sister, Ruth Ellington's sister was um, my very best friend, Ruth Ellington. She was my very best friend. And so uh, for Bobby Shorts, who I'm doing tonight, uh, when Bobby Short was, had his 30th anniversary at the Carlisle, Ruth Ellington called, she said, hey darling, I said, Ruthie, how are you, how are you, dear? She said, you know Bobby Short's having his 30th at the Carlisle. Let's go. Okay. So we meet at the Carlisle. We had a front table at Bobby Short's 30th anniversary. And um, she and Bobby were very close. But Bobby adored Duke Ellington. And so it was Bobby Short who raised a million dollars to get the Duke Ellington statue placed on 110th Street and 5th Avenue. And salute Bobby Short for that. That was a great thing that he did. Thank you for the great maestro. Uh, so you're going to do this song, Mercy. Then told me when I was in knee pants. My mama didn't tell me she said, Son, a woman will sweet talk and give you the glad eye. But when the sweet talking is done, a woman's a tip. Where is something who'll leave you to sing the blues in the night? Now the rains are falling, hear the train are calling. Whoa, 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 whoa. My mama did 
so much fun because you know I, I've never sung that song before in my life a few songs I've sung that I've never sung in my life I've always wanted to but I just never got around to it and so I cannot thank Calvin enough for choosing asking me to do this tonight Calvin Ramsey thank you truly thank you and to work with this magnificent conductor is the joy to behold so thank you Mr. Burris Thank you. This next song is very special to me because I'm sorry, my, my mouth is still dry. You know, but I, because this song has such meaning to me. I'm an alcoholic, and um, I've been sober now 35 years. Thank you. But this song is the, the story of my life. The song is Days of Wine and Roses, the movie, with Jack Lemon and Lee Remick, who were also at the Carlisle to see Barbie, by the way. But my life story was Jack Lemon in that film years ago. I drank myself into a straitjacket. No, truly, they found me out in the, in the streets in my underwear, and I, they put me in a straitjacket and took me to the nut house. It was a nightmare. But the, so the movie is a, really a, a lot to me. So this is a wonderful Mercer song called Days of Wine and Roses. The days of wine and roses and run away like a child at play through the meadowland toward a closing door a door marked nevermore that wasn't there before the law Discloses just a passing breeze, filled with memories of the golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and rose. And you, the days of wine and roses, laugh and run away like a child at play through the meadowland toward a closing door. A door marked nevermore that wasn't there before. The lonely nights disclosed just a passing breeze filled with memories of the golden smile that introduced me to. The days of white roses and you.
the days of wine and roses laugh and run away like a child at play through the meadowland toward a closing door a door marked nevermore that wasn't there before the long Closes just a passing breeze filled with memories of the golden smile that introduced me to the days of white and roses, the days of white and roses, the days of white and roses. And you <laughs> Terry Burris. You know, this really is much too much fun. No, really, it should be a law against this. This is, you know, I can't tell you with the time I'm having. You see, I've been to hell twice and back. No, truly. And so for me to sit here in front of you and reminiscing of the great Bobby Short, the king of cafe society for many years in this town, is an honor beyond words for me. I've been struggling at this for 40 years. And to sit here tonight, I'm just, I'm humble beyond, as Marilyn would say, beyond the beyond. Uh, was, oh, we go, oh, Ellington, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Cigarette whole day, which wakes me over her shoulder. She digs me out getting my sad dog. Baby, shall we go? I'll skip it, yeah, for me go. You flip it, speak Latin, my sad dog. She's nobody's fool, so I'm playing it cool as can be. I'll give it a whirl, but I ain't for no girl. Catch me. Rudy, telephone number. Well, you know I'm doing my rumba with no and that my sad dog. See the red hole with with me over her shoulder. I know that she digs me. Oh, get that sad dog. can be. I'll give it a whirl, but I ain't for no girl catching me. Switch your Rudy telephone number. Well, you know I'm doing my rumba with a no. She digs me, I'll get 
nice and dark. Baby, shall we go out skipping? Careful, amigo, you're flipping, speed flatting, my sad dog. She's nobody's fool, so I'm playing it cool. I'm skipping, careful of me go. You're slipping, speech letting my sad dog. Speech letting my sad dog. I have, I have, I do this in my home every Sunday, jazz and barbecue. It's called Jerron's Parlor Jazz. It's kind of a call out too. <laughs> it's early Sunday afternoons. So we're gonna get back to Bobby Short and the Carlisle because that was such a special time. Um, but first, I'm sorry. Can I, I'm, I, have, I have so much in my head. <laughs> I had to get it together, give me one more. <laughs> So a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of gentlemen were, were in a, a, a country club, and so they were playing squash or racquetball, whatever gentlemen play in country clubs. I haven't been fortunate enough to have, have been a member, so. So all the guys were getting dressed after working out, and so it was a phone like this, sitting on the bench in the room where they change. And so the phone rang, and the, the gentleman who was sitting here just hit the button on speakerphone. And he said, hello. And the voice said, hi, dear. He said, hello. Uh, the voice said, you know, I was in the Hamptons recently. And the house that we had looked at, the house that we looked at, uh, was on sale for only 14 million. And you know, it's such a steal, and I really would love to have that home. So the, the boy said, dear, if you, want, if you want the home, then get the home, it's okay. So she said, oh Don, thank you so much. She said, and by the way, I was driving down Fifth Avenue, and the brooch that I wanted at Tiffany's, it was a beautiful diamond and emerald brooch. And she said, I really would love to have it. She said, darling, if you, if you really want the brooch, then, then get the brooch. And so she said, oh, and by the way, the Mercedes that I had my eye on for such a long time, every, I had for a long time, convertible, blue, royal. So he said, darling, it's only, it's only 180,000. She said, darling, if you want it, then please, please. Get it. And she said, okay, I'll see you when we get home. She said, okay, good night. And so the whole room was listening to this. So after he hung up, he picked up the phone and said, does anyone know whose phone this is? <laughs> after I spent all your money. <laughs> what are we going to do now? What's next? Oh, I love this song. I hope you do, because I do. I haven't done it before, maybe years ago. We're going to do it now. I took a trip on the train, and I thought about you. I passed a shadowy lane, and I thought about you. There were two or three cars parked under the stars, a winding stream. 
moon shining down and with each town they had the same old dream and every stop that we made I thought about you but when I pulled down the shade I really felt blue I peeked through the crack and looked at the track the one going back to you and what did I On the train, and I thought about you. I faced a shadowy lane, and I thought about you. There were two or three cars parked under the stars, a widened stream. There were moons shining down, and which each town shall But when I pulled down the shade, I really felt blue. I peeked through the crack, looked at the track, the one going back to you. And what did I do, Phoebe? I thought all about you. I could put this in a bottle. I will just put this in a bottle and just every morning just hug it and say thank you. I thank you. I thank Calvin for having me here. <clears throat> now this next song is a very famous song of course. So many need all. <laughs> oh yes, somebody beeping. Um, I have another story to tell about this song. May I tell? I wait till you finish. this song. My, my mic seems to keep changing. Once I get it, yeah, please leave it where it is because I do my own dynamics. Please, thank you. Um, I have a story to tell about this song. It's so important to me. I hope, you, I hope you don't mind my sharing it. When I was in junior high school in the 60s, we did a play in my school. I went to Southern University Laboratory School, which is like the child of Southern University. Uh, HBCU. Uh, so in, when I was a, uh, in junior high school, we did this play. 
and we had to sing this song, which I'm going to sing now. And the song is Moon River. And so we all sang it, and it, it, it came down to two people to get the spot, the song, myself and Robert Anderson. Well, they gave it to Robert Anderson. I've never recovered, ever. I still have nightmares about it. But Robert became a big dentist, as his father was. And I've been struggling doing this, sitting on bar stools for 40 years. And I wouldn't change a day, not one. So we're going to do this song called Moon River. This is something that Bobby would do in the Carlisle. You know, we need to bring this era back of sophistication and glamour. You know, I would, I would go to the Carlisle and we would sit in, in, in pearls and little dresses and men in suits and having cocktails and you know, Bobby's tickling the piano. It's just wonderful. So we're going to try and recreate this here. This song is Moon River. Moon River. Hold it slow. Take two. Moon, moon, moon. Take three. <laughs> you see, I do this in my home every Sunday. We have to change, right? In my home every Sunday, I tell you, I have live jazz and barbecue. It's called Jerron's Crawler Jazz. And so, if this happens, you know, it's my home, so I just say stop, we're gonna do it again. So indulge me. Take three. Moon River Wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style Someday Oh, dream maker, you heart breaker, wherever you're going, I'm going away to drift as I'm crossing you in style someday. We're after the same rainbow waiting around the bend. My huckleberry friend, Moon. This is a, I love this song so much. I love all these songs. Uh, <laughs> I hope you love them. Do you, are you having fun tonight? Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, so this, uh, I believe this is a song that Bobby Short sang to Gloria Vanderbilt when they were on page six. Oh, and Liz Smith's column. Oh, Susie. Okay, y'all too young for all that, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Um, this is the one that he really did sing, sing for uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. You're just too marvelous, too marvelous for words, like glorious, glamorous, and that oh, stand by amorous. We're just too much and just too very, very to ever be. In Webster's Dictionary, I can't do that. I'm not very white. I'm not very white. I'm not, I'm not, maybe I started the wrong key. Forgive me. Yeah, I'm so, I, 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 I do this at times. So indulge me, please. I do this. You're just too marvelous, too marvelous for words. You're glorious, glamorous, and that oh, stand by amorous. You're just too very, and jabberbubbly dabble today to ever be in Webster's dictionary. I had missed the whole song. I have no idea where I have the song. None. <laughs> Absolutely none. So I'm like, <laughs> we're going to close with the blues and F. <laughs> this has been too much fun. No, I, I believe me. See, I, do this in my, I don't work out because nobody hires me. They don't. So I created my own club. And you can't fire me. And so I'm so accustomed to doing exactly what I want to do. So forgive me if I, you know, been too far tonight. We're gonna close with the blues. Every day, every day I have the blues. Every day, every day I have the blues. Marcus Holko from Finland. You see me worry, baby, it's you I hate to lose.
you, Marcus. One more time, Marcus Hoko. We thank you so much. I am Jerron Eames doing Bobby Short tonight. We thank you so very much. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm humbled and I'm grateful. Thank you so very much. So very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm humbled. I'm grateful. <laughs> One more time for Marcus Hoko on saxophone, Terry Burris, I am Gerard Eames. Thank you. And thank Alvin for bringing the Carlisle back. Well, you know, we still have a little more time in here, and it's a little bit more refreshment, so um, please do. And I'd like to take some photographs with some of you so I can post on uh, different platforms, if you don't mind. So did you enjoy the show? Okay. <laughs> all right. And thanks for all coming. And, uh, you know, this was a really special birthday gift, you know, from you guys to me. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>